Irene Tale was born on January 30th, 1989 to Mr. and Mrs. George William Tale. She started singing at school and in the church choir where she also learned how to play the guitar. She went to Chitante Primary School, Chitante Hill School for Olive and Makere High now Megade College for A level. She did a bachelor's degree in procurement and logistics management at Chamboga University. Ntale also performed at shows, singing to other artists' songs up until she found her way to Swanks Avenue. Ntale has had hit songs like Joe Better, Love Letter, a collaboration with Bebe Cool, Stay With Me, Kubu Kinze, and Olindaba. 27-year-old Ntale says she's not afraid to shout her real age out like other celebrities who got stuck at a certain age for several years. My name is Irene Tale. I'm 27 years old. I'm a musician. I'm a singer, songwriter, guitarist. I come from a family of 13. She says she's not married because celebrity love is difficult as it takes a very secure man to marry a celebrity like her, as many guys call, and even text her about love. It's, it's, it's very difficult. Yeah. A lot of trust issues, a lot of, you know, distance because most of the times you find yourself you working you know on days when you're supposed to probably be with your loved one let me say like on a weekend you find yourself working then when you say weekdays he's probably working and then for you you're probably free so it's timing is also an issue um trust you know there are lots of men that call us you know probably they just you know chatting and all that so it's it's difficult it takes a secure man to date a celebrity. Dax Cattell, a Ugandan artist himself, once came out to state that him and Ntale had a romantic relationship going on. It turns out it was never true, or at least that's as per Irene Ntale's account. I've never had a relationship with that man or that artist. I think he, he, got, he, he managed to lie to people and people managed to run with it, to run with his story you get. No one ever asked me my story, my side of the story, but they really believe what he says. It's just a marketing strategy for him and his music. And it has really helped him, it has really worked, you know. But I've never dated him, my song is not about him. I don't think I've ever even met him before. She goes on to explain the meaning of her Autobatisa song, a song many believe was a dedication to Dax Cattell. Uh, we were going to do a song with Shiba, so we had to find um, you know, a theme for the song that can connect us as artists because when you look at my music and her music, it's totally different, you know. So we needed like a theme that can connect us, connect us like musically. So Ray came up with the idea, you know what, let's, let's sing about, let me write a song about a man who is playing the both of you, you know, and he wrote every single line in the song. So we recorded the song and Otto Batisa. Irene also found time to spill on what kind of wife she would love to make. Oh, definitely. You have to make sacrifices. If I decide to get married, there are certain things I'm going to stop doing. Then I'm probably going to book less shows because now I have a, a family. Like I have a home to take care for. So probably I'd have to book less shows and be there for my family because it's also very important. So yeah, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But for now, I'm preparing for when that time comes. She also refuted claims that her not being married is because of being a part of Illuminati and added that every tattoo on her body carries a meaning. First of all, I don't even know what that means. You know, when they told me that I'm Illuminati, I also tried to Google and check it out and see what's up. But then I was just confused. So I don't know. There are lots of people that have tattoos. Very many. I just have, when you look at my tattoos, this is a, this is a music stave. And these are like beats, you get. These are two beats, half a beat, a beat. You know, these are beats. When you look at this, it's a guitar, you know. When you look at this one, this is the one that that got people saying um, Illuminati, why it's a symbol for what? This is a tendril. And a, if you know a tendril, it's climbing up. Eh? Tendrils, like tendrils, plants that have tendrils, passion fruits, like they always climb. So that represents who I am. I don't want to, you know come down at any one point. I want to always just keep going up, up and up. Irene says being a celebrity comes with lots of challenges. Wrong perceptions from the public, abusive texts from sections of people that don't like her, and the fact that a lot is invested in her music yet so little is gotten back. 
you can record a bunch of songs, very many songs. Then you can public concentrate on a song, and then you know people don't appreciate it as much as you thought they would. So that's a challenge. You've invested a lot of money in one particular song, but then it doesn't really bring it back. You understand? Just waking up in the morning and everyone has a different perception of you. Some people just really hate you. You wake up in the morning, they've sent you hate messages. Then you, you go to the newspapers and they've written things that are not true and they're making headlines. So, but we learn to live with it because it's just, it's part of the industry. She also insisted that when female musicians get on songs with their male counterparts, it is strictly professional work and not necessarily because of a romantic relationship or issues like that. Reports compiled by Das Walugembe for Auburn TV.